What's up kiddos? I'm here at my favorite fishing spot and welcome to an episode of Fishing After Five. Today, I'll be using my mystery tackle box for panfish that I got this month. It is August currently. I'll also be utilizing my ultralight to see if we can catch some panfish out here. Of course, being the first episode of anything that I do, watch me not catch shit. However, I'm gonna give it a good try. So I'll see you out on the water and hopefully, hopefully we can catch something else. Maybe the eclipse has uh, gotten the fish into a frenzy. See you soon. Trying to figure out how I left my house wearing black and a little purple scarf. I look like a black Power Ranger out here. So if any of you guys are familiar with how uh, Mystery Tackle Box Slams work, uh, you basically catch fish with only the things that are in the box. And if you don't catch them, well, I guess it's fucking too bad. Anyway, I'm gonna give it my best shot, being my first MTB Slam. Hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna introduce you to all of the things that is in this box, and we'll see how it goes from there. So first up, we have the Trotino. Actually, let's see. Trotino by Lucky John. All right, with a strong shrimp scent, a beautiful sticker, an expired coupon code for Hooksetter USA. I really appreciate it, guys. Panfish, double tail, and sandy. All right, a dynamic micro spinnerbait. I can work with that. Jinko Fishing Big T Fry Crappie Baits. Might be a little big for this pond. I'll save it for last. Finally, we have the Big T One-Eyed Wigglehead. Pretty sure these are supposed to be uh, together. And finally, some garlic scent. Probably gonna eat it myself. All right, let's get out there and do this. I'm gonna start with what I'm pretty sure might work. And I'm gonna go with this dynamic micro spinnerbait. All right, we gotta tie it on there. Not sure if I should use a trailer for it. I'll give it a couple of tries without a trailer. See what we can make happen. Let's immediately get it caught in a bush. I can see little fish kind of getting at it, but nothing sizable. I really like that this thing is weedless. Water level's pretty low today, and as just as I said that, get it caught, but we're good. Just need to find the right spot where these fish are located, and I think we'll be fine after that. Oh, there we go, fish on. Oh no, did he get off? No? What the heck? What the heck is this? Oh, 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 fish on indeed. All right, buddy. He's pulling drag. Oh, man. First species of the day. It's a fucking whatever this is. Here he is. Wow. I have no idea what you are. Oh, you're a small carp, maybe? A really small grass carp. Or a small common carp, something. I don't know. Get a picture of the little dude. So he's been out for a couple of minutes. Okay, okay, partner chill. So that's one down on our... Fuck! I forgot to take a picture with the box. Every time I come over here, I just think about, man, I should bring a weed eater. And every time I think, man, I didn't bring a weed eater. All right, let's try the next one on our list. So this thing did pretty well. Only caught one fish on it, but when you're a beginner fisherman like me, one fish is everything you want. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, my ultralight. Yeah, all right. Well, I got you. All right. As you can see, guys, don't pull too hard. Not an ultralight. Look, that's a beaver right there. I see him. 
It's about four of them. Yeah, it's a happy family. They'll scare the shit out of you if you don't know what they are, though. But so you gotta be careful. Because there might be a, a gator up in here, too. Crocodile up in here. No, not crocodile, a gator. Man, I don't doubt it. Oh, man, that kills me. I love this little thing. Yeah. But it was nice meeting, man. I'm gonna check you out. You said fishing at five. Fishing at the five. I'll catch you up. Alright, man. Alright. Well, guys, I had a whole conversation with the dude that came up here. Ended up losing my, my rod, my ultralight, my baby. I don't have the stuff for another. Oh, no. It's okay, though. It's all right. We're cool. We're gravy. We'll do a little bass fishing since the MTB Slam had to get canceled. So, oh, that tears me up a whole lot. What the fuck is that? A little tiny animal. It's a bird. Bird scared the shit out of me. This might be a bit big for the fish in my local area, but willing to give it a try. I was fuming after that uh, ultralight incident, so I stopped fishing for a little bit. Let's see if we can't catch something. I'm currently using my Cast King Mela 2. With 30 pound braided line. Yes, I know that is not the correct thing to be using while pan fishing. But as you just saw, my pan fish rod just died. So this actually looks pretty effective. It's got a shrimpy smell to it. I saw a couple of fish chasing it. Of course, this is too big for those couple of fish who were chasing it. But whatever. I appreciate their spirit. Oh, shit. Something got it. Got it hard, too. Come back. Couple casts in. Nothing yet. So this one, as I said earlier, might be a little too big for what I've got in my little pond here. Currently 7.04, been fishing for a little while. Well, I don't know if it's the lure is too big or I just have the wrong equipment after the death of my ultralight. This one doesn't seem to be working out too well for me. No go, let's try the next thing. Let's try this one out. Troutino. Oh yeah, that smells great. Hopefully these fish don't care about me fishing it on 30 pound braid. They probably do. All right. So I'm still out here. Still trying to catch one more thing on the, ah, oh, fuck me. What is this? Oh yeah, a bunch of grass. <laughs> my ultralight is gone. My ultralight is gone. Hi ho the Dario, my ultralight is gone. Well, after that first carp, I haven't had any other luck so far. But at least I have a better idea what works and what doesn't work. It's about uh, 7.42 now. I've been fishing since 5. Of course, the show being fishing after 5 and all. I managed to catch one. <laughs> one. I believe it's a common carp. I'm not too sure. I have to look it up when I get home. It was a pretty looking fellow though. But for now, my MTB slam for today, kind of a failure. Caught one thing, I'll take it. Best MTB slam I've ever had. But that is the nature of fishing. I always like to say that fishing is kind of like a dance and your partner sometimes doesn't want to dance with you. Thanks for joining me on this uh, grand adventure. I'm in a parking lot all by myself talking to a phone. So <laughs> uh, I hope nobody else can see this. Either way, keep on fishing, live weird, and I'll see you next time after five. With all that said, losing my ultralight hurts and I will be making a store run for another one very soon because that is my favorite rod. May it rest in peace. You've caught a lot of fish.